Hello everybody, welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I have a really special one for you today and that is because we are going to be going through the signal call that I have in front of you right now. We're going to be going over the entry, the stop loss and the target of this trading setup and I know what's on your mind right now. I know what you're thinking, I know you're thinking, Daniel, wait, what? A signal call? You never do signals, what is this? And uh, you know, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling kindly spirited and that is what we're going to be running through today. I'm going to be going through everything about this setup. So you really, if you've ever loved our videos before, this is one that you have to pay full, full close attention to. Just pay attention, listen to why, how, and you know, how this trade is going. And you know, you're gonna walk away a very happy person by the end of it, because you are going to have increased your knowledge, period. So with that said, let's go into the charts. Let's go into what we love. That's trading Bitcoin and um, vamos. <laughs> so. Uh, obviously, we have been trading within this range now for over <laughs> over a week. This has been our really, 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 you know, great range. We can see really the value area low and value area high of this range have been absolutely on point now. Okay, slight deviations either side, but this is to be absolutely expected in a range. Obviously, the last few times we've hit the highs, we're just seeing wicks above the highs, wicks above the highs, full on rejections back to value area lows where we're just seeing wicks below the lows. So it's it's an extremely well respected range, and this is a range that we have given you now over a week ago. You know, it's just the same range that we're trading um, today. Obviously, I want to go specifically over the trading set that I have in front of you and like the theory behind this trading setup. So um, yeah, let's just get straight into it. It's obviously based off of this range, believe it or not. Um, so obviously back on the 23rd of May, what were we at? We were at the resistance at the top of the range, okay? What also happened on that Sunday night, what happened? We also formed this CME gap, okay? So the CME gap was formed. You can see there on the 22nd, that's obviously Sunday night, we had the open, and we're just aware at the time, I'm posting that in Discord as, you know, as it's open there, reminding my team, hey, we got the Bitcoin CME gap. You know, we all know this gap likes to get filled. We are also, of course, at the top of the range. Probabilities are, you know, fairly high until we can actually break out of this range. And that we can, you know, continue the rotation within said range, okay? And we did come down. What happened? Well, on the 23rd of May, the next day, uh, around 8.30 p.m. UK time, we saw the drop. Okay, so that drop filled the CME gap. And this is where I became, you know, I've, we've had some feedback. People want me to be more transparent. They want to know, you know, really clearly what I'm thinking. And really simply, I said to my team personally, this is now where I am happy to take a long. You can see this is posted in Bitcoin charts only. There's no trolling, there's no you know hidden cryptic messages. No, really simply, I'm saying, hey, I'm, I'm happy to start to build my long here. Okay, simple as that. In the Bitcoin charts only, we got the gap filled. We're at, coming down to the low of the range. We were not absolutely at the very low of the range right here, but this was for me this time to start to build this long position of course, we have filled that CME gap, okay? And I knew this was filling the CME gap, and we're looking to trade it, obviously, still expecting a little bit more downside. This is where I'm happy to build my long. With the invalidation here, you can see the stop loss that I gave to everybody at $28,577. Remember that one, write it down. So again, the theory here is we were at the top of the range, unable to clear it. We have a CME gap. That forces price down, the CME gap fills, we start to come to the low of the range. I really simply tell my team, hey, I'm gonna take a long here. And what did I do? I then went a step further and I posted this exact screenshot inside of the group. This was pretty simply showing everybody where I'm entering, where my stop loss and what my target is. Okay, this is what people are wanting and that is what I gave to them. I simply, really simply gave this training setup. And I went one step further, and that's obviously what we're doing in today's video. I went one step further and I said, hey, if this trade wins, I'll make an exactly as predicted video. And if it loses, I'll make a video explaining what went wrong and why it lost. That sounds fair enough. Obviously, there was a lot of reactions. People thought that was fair enough. And I was more than happy to do this. A lot, you know, a lot of feedback that we get is, hey, Daniel, you're just like continuously winning trades. Uh, you know, we, we, we would like to see you explain some losing trades. And this was the first trade that I've, you know, given to everybody inside of the group in such a fashion. And, uh, well, obviously at the moment it's winning, but if, if it 
would have lost, I would have more than happily explained why it lost. But obviously, you do have to remember, I am a professional trader that has been doing this now for over 10 years. And, you know, my win rate is fine, you know, is, is pretty high. I'm not taking massive losses, okay? It's not to say I'm not taking losses, but my losses are, are few and far between, to be fair, when it comes to these swing trade ideas. And this is obviously a swing trade idea. Um, but yeah, I just an FYI, I was more than happy if this had went wrong. I would have 100% done a video. But obviously, we're in the middle of the trade, still could lose. We'll see how it progresses. Okay, so what actually happened then over the over the next um, you know next few hours next next day? Well, we actually can see that we formed a bit of a range at the value area low. Okay, so we started to form this range at the value area low. Well, we also then started we we had one quick move to the downside, and this one was kind of funny. If you look here, the actual low of this move was uh, twenty eight thousand five hundred and ninety five. You can see it actually missed the stop loss by you know we're talking like ten twenty dollars uh, that stop loss was missed. I will show you here that I put. The alert created this alert the 23rd of May, if you read here, created the alert where my stop loss was 23rd of May at 9 p.m. So obviously while price is here. Then on the 24th of May at 3 p.m., so about one day later, you know, price wicked down very close to that stop loss, but never actually activated my stop loss. The stop loss was never hit. And from here, of course, what happened? Well, we started to form these bullish divergences, okay, after the uh, bounce off of this. And, well, we all know what's really happened now. We, we worked our way up, okay? So this was a really, really, really nice bounce in the end. Okay, so things that you might want to write down and take note of how I traded this. Again, let me just recap really quickly. There was a CME gap at the top of the range at the value area high. I could have been expecting a breakout. I could have wanted to see a breakout, but at the end of the day, we never actually cleared the value area high. There was no breakout. Obviously, I'm never going to long into the value area high resistance. And in the end, price comes down, fill the CME gap, where I'm going to take the opportunity to long. Why? Because I have been feeling kind of bullish in this range. I took that opportunity with no hesitation, posted that in the group, gave them the exact setup that I was taking with the entry, stop loss, and target. Okay, so moving on, what happened next? We had a quick wick to the downside almost 24 hours later. The stop loss was not hit, my trade setup was not invalidated, and I remained in that long position. Okay, so what are you gonna write down here? You're gonna write, until the trade setup's actually invalidated, why would I close early? Okay, if I had moved my stop loss up prematurely when there was no reason to, the stop loss would have been here. If I had closed out the position too early, guess what? I would have actually missed the move to the upside. No, I stayed calm, collected, and confident in my trading plan. And now, currently, I'm obviously sat in profits. Okay, so then what happened next? We saw those bullish CVD divergences, and price, yes, did push to the upside. Something very interesting that I want to show you here. Price, we can see, actually topped out at 4 a.m. Write this down. Price topped out at 4 a.m. Why did it top out at 4 a.m.? Well, that exact range that I actually gave for that long setup, look where the point of control is. Have a, have a, have a guess, ladies and gentlemen. This is technical analysis. This is chart champions. We only give you the very best levels. We actually hit that point of control topping out at exactly 4 a.m. What happens? Some people, let's say the majority of traders... I'm not going to pre really be as, as, as full on into trading as I am, let's be honest. I had my alerts going off at 4 a.m. this morning. I'm not messing around. I'm straight onto the charts. Why? Because this is what I live for. This is, this, is, this is what I do. I make money trading. And you can only make money trading if you're truly actually into it. I am. And at 4 a.m. this morning... I came over into the group and actually wrote to everybody, hey, I love this game. This yet yeah, is at 4 a.m. I'm into the Discord. I'm telling everybody that's the alert going off for the take profit. Okay, you can see here, the man, the myth, the legend. I, I just want to read this comment out from a member as well because I liked it. I read that at 4 a.m. with a smile. I've been with Chart Champions as a, as a champion member since 2021 and I have watched every module once while watching some of them three or more times. Over 300 hours of studying, hundreds of pages of notes and this family has changed my life. I am excited to improve more and more every day and become an all-star. Really hoping to attend the Chart Champions meetup next year. Keep up the great work and we're all in this together. Okay, uh, I thought that was brilliant. I, 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 I smiled with that comment. But the thing that I'm trying to focus on primarily here is, of course, we have a great family with inside of the Discord group. But the thing is here, I'm, I'm here at 4 a.m., not only taking the profits, not only telling all of my group, that's a major take profit for me. But that also was, have a guess, ladies and gentlemen, the very high of that rally. Absolutely. We, top, did, we did top out at 4 a.m. And what happened next, we can see from that, 
take profit, traders like myself who are able to control or have, let's just say, have an influence on the Bitcoin price. How can we have an influence? Because we are trading with hundreds and millions of dollars every single day. This is clearly going to have an influence. If you don't know, Chart Champions are the number one highest trading volume team on the whole of Bybit. I am not sponsored to wear this, by the way. I just love the shirt. Uh, Bybit do not give me anything to wear this. I love Bybit. And we are also the number one highest volume trading team. So of course, we're going to have an influence on price, let's say. Here we were at 4 a.m., uh, you know, I'm taking profits. You know, other people are probably going to be thinking, mm, okay, if Daniel's taking profits, I wonder what's going to happen next. And of course, we actually did see this move start to come to the downside, okay? And now you might be thinking, okay, then that brings us up to where we are now. What's happening next? And I am obviously going to tell you my continued trading plan and what I feel is the next highest probability. I want to take two minutes here to just address something very quickly that has been playing on my heart. Uh, I want to talk about this for two minutes very briefly, and then we're going to come back over to this setup, and I'm going to explain what's exactly, uh, you know, what I'm looking for to happen next within this trading setup, okay? So, the first, what you might be thinking, okay, Daniel, ooh, this is a bit exciting. What do, you want to, what do you want to talk about? And it's actually something, you know, about the, you know, what, what, can, what can we say here? It's about, um, let's just read out this post, okay? As some of you may or may not know, while I was away, uh, I refer to a way moving house, moving countries. It's obviously a, a fairly big thing in my life. Um, but while I was away, a few trolls took the opportunity to create a smear campaign on Chart Champions and try and drag our name into the ground in hopes of creating their own Discord group to steal our members. Of course, this ultimately did fail. Uh, but what was good that came out of the smear campaign was that, to be fair, we did actually receive some very useful feedback from the champions on how we can improve. Okay, I'm happy to announce that we have started working on the new changes to Chart Champions with the very useful constructive criticism that, that we did receive. And we have made it clear to ourselves and everybody that we need to improve upon our communication, management, transparency, and overall Discord layouts, you know, with each coach having their own section within Discord, you know, just makes it easier for everybody, I believe that. Um, so attach you will see the upcoming streams over the next three weeks. This will be released every three weeks, as you know, um, so you always know what's coming up, who is going to be doing the stream and what we will be teaching. We are also going to be working on the public roadmap so you know which amazing new features are coming to Chart Champions. Just as with trading, everybody makes mistakes and learns from them. I admit I made a mistake by not being transparent enough by saying I was moving house and country, thus going to be inactive. Okay. I have learned from this along with other things that we have taken from the feedback. And I am really happy to say that Chart Champions going forward is only going to become bigger and better. People are always going to try and take our crown. But at the end of the day, we will put in the hardest and most, you know, the biggest amount of work possible and put in the most effort to make sure we are always remaining on top. Why? Because I want to be the very best in everything that I do, from trading to running the best trading educational group in the world. Everybody, I promise you that from today going forward, you are going to notice the changes and you will see these rolled out over the next few weeks, two months, two years, as we will never stop improving and only getting better just as in trading. That's the first thing that I wanted to mention, okay? Yes, there was, you know, there was a smear campaign. A lot of people took the opportunity while I was away to say, hey, you think it, you probably have, you've probably seen it really. It's like absolutely crazy the amount of hate that we got just because I went on a holiday, like, yeah, mind blowing. But <laughs> people obviously see these opportunities. People, you know, have just money lighting up in their eyes, you know, t trying to take an opportunity to take advantage of the situation and you know, it's kind of a, a really big shame at the end of the day, because, you know, some of the people that, you know, stab you in the back, you actually thought were like really good people. And then as soon as you go away, you know, they're, they're putting their, taking their knife, stabbing it in the back and, you know, trying to cause really big havoc. Uh, you know, obviously, thankfully, at the end of the day, Charge Champions continues. We're here today. We're stronger than ever. And, uh, you know, the people that did remain loyal and did stay, you know, we've, we've received some really positive feedback and constructive criticism on how we can improve. We realize that we've started with the stream schedules. You know, know what's coming up, you know what we're going to be teaching, we're going to be working on the roadmap and, um, you know, we're just increasing that transparency. As long as, Along with that, you're obviously going to see the change in the Discord to the website, the management, and, you know, we, we're doing some, you know, I'm, I'm basically injecting a lot of money <laughs> into Jot Champions to just take it to the next level. Why? Because I want to see this, you know, live on throughout me. This is my legacy. This is my baby. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we are here to help you. And, you know, we're going to listen to your feedback and, and take that on board because, you know, that's just what that's just what happens inside of this uh, company. 
Okay, so I'm really happy to announce that. Okay, there was a few, yeah, yeah, the other thing that I wanted, obviously, we are, uh, you know, just making it aware we have, you know, taken on that feedback and making the changes. And obviously, you might be thinking, oh, you know, what, what, what's some of the examples of some of these things that happen? You know, this is some of the kind of crazy things that kind of happen. You know, coming into Discord and writing, you know, taking a post at what this is at 1 a.m. by the way. At 1 a.m., I wrote this in Discord in general chat, by the way. Discord is, you know, write three words that are better than I love you. Bitcoin is pumping. This is clearly a joke. Like anybody that trades off of this is like, you know, you know, you, you, who would trade off of, of, of this post? Who's going to enter along because I wrote Bitcoin is pumping right three words better than I love you. And then the next post is Bitcoin is dumping, Igor is typing. You know, this is clearly a joke. Yeah, this is pretty clearly a joke. But some people, you know, they take this opportunity to write, hey, look, Daniel, Daniel posted this in general chat and Bitcoin dropped 0.85%. He sucks at trading. He's trying to liquidate his own members. It's like, come on, I'm never, why, why on earth would I try and liquidate my own members? It just makes absolutely no sense in the world. And also like, come on, like, Really? Really? I, I mean, I really kind of agree. I should not even give this the time of day. I do not know even really why I'm why I'm talking about it. But it is just like this, you know, I just want to put this to bed. I'm never going to talk about it again in a video. So I, I thought I'll take the opportunity now. But it's kind of like I agree with this person. It's incredibly sad how much, you know, effort some people put in to try and tear you down and the other coaches. Literally dozens of hours of screenshots and photoshopping all of their collective tweets. And it's like, I, I kind of replied, remember, people only rain on your parade because they're jealous of your sun and tired of their shade. People who project negativity typically have low self-esteem. They feel badly about themselves and their negativity is simply a reflection of those feelings. I want to just say this. Hey, if you hate me, if you hate chart champions, you know, what use is this going to do to anybody? I mean, you're, you're free. You're, everybody at the end of the day is free to free whatever they feel. All I'm going to say is, hey, if you are having some issues going on in your life, if you feel the need to like hate and like do these screenshots, I mean, pretending you're leaving the group and like still being in the group on sub accounts so no one knows you're in the group to take screenshots and learn from us. It's like, oh, come on. I, I just feel sorry for you. I truly just feel sorry for you, man. Like... My love goes out to everybody. I'm just going to say this. I love you. Whether you like me, whether you hate me, everybody in between. I love absolutely everybody. I'm not going to give this another second of my day. Why? Because it just, it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. And this is this is obviously not the first time it's happened. You know, this has happened several times. It's just part of the game. It's just part of, it's just part of the game. I'm going to live with it. And um, yeah, all I'm going to say is I love you. If, you. if you're feeling some underlying issues within your heart, hopefully one day you can can come to grips with that and just say, hey, <laughs> I learned from Daniel. Maybe I shouldn't try and run his name into the ground. That's, you know, where you learn everything that you know from. Uh, but hey, I'm just going to say this. Thank you. I love you. And um, yeah, at the end of the day, I appreciate everybody that did give us the feedback. Why? Because we've taken that and we've improved from it. So at the end of the day, it was it was a positive experience. Uh, and we learned, definitely did learn a lot from that. And it's sometimes like, who can you trust? Pff, yeah, man, this space is crazy. But uh, anyway, I just want to say thank you. And now with that out of the way, you're probably thinking, okay, Daniel, bring it back to what we're actually here for. And that is talking about Bitcoin and this trading setup. I know, I'm sorry. I apologize. Just wanted to get that off my off my chest. Um, so yeah, obviously, yeah, that, 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 that was kind of crazy when you think about it. They had the stop loss missing by $20. I wonder which group of whales had a stop loss to protect that. Um, anyway, what you might be thinking to yourself, okay, we can clearly see we did reject at uh, 4 a.m. Okay, actually topping out at exactly 4.15 a.m. 4.15 a.m. was when we topped out. Mm, posted that at 4.14 a.m. Yeah, 4.14 a.m. was when I posted in the group. Absolute high put in at 4.15 a.m. Wow, what a, what a surprise. Okay, well, we obviously came down. That was the high. A lot of people taking profits at that moment in time. Okay, so what happened next? Well, the next thing that I posted in my group this morning was that the PDPOC should be an important support zone today. Losing that would be quite weak. What happened? Well, at 1.30, we came down and we tested this support zone. Let's take a look at again this. Posted that in my group early in the morning while we were still waiting for this to potentially come into play. It did come into play about 1.30 where we tested that support. So we come in and we tested this support. Look at this, 1.30. 1.30, we tested that support and then we got another bounce to the upside. Well, isn't this kind of amazing when you think about it. We are not only able to, you know, call these lows pretty accurately, let's say. We're not only able to call the lows pretty accurately. We're not only able to then, you know, take profit at the absolute high of the moves, 
but we're then also calling where the next bounce is going to be. And, you know, that is calling a low, a high of the take profit, a low of where the next bounce is going to be. You know, this is just pretty amazing when you truly think about that, uh, if you think about that well. Okay, so now we know we're trapped between the resistance of this point of control and the PDPOC. Okay, if we obviously lose that, we can of course be looking down to this CC, but in my opinion, losing this low is, is, is weak. Okay, I would, um, in my opinion, the way that I'm trading, again, I want to bring this to the education. Okay, so I got into the alarm. Okay, we obviously missed the stop loss here. Everything absolutely fine. On this rise, we then started to form our really nice bullish CVD divergences. We got our rise to the upside. Take profit obviously here. I actually hit, did, hit, did hit first take profit here, by the way, but this was a minor take profit just to reduce the fees if my stop loss had been hit. This was for me a major take profit. Obviously, it's been the point of control. From this take profit, I personally have now moved my stop loss up. Okay, so this stop loss is no longer in danger of losing me any money. The, the trade now becomes a risk-free trade. Okay, I'm in a position where if price now does go down, um, I've, I've made money with 100% certainty. I have 100% made money on the trade now. Okay, so that's obviously a really nice position to be in. I know the support that we bounced off of. I know the resistance that we rejected from. So within the here, we are now starting to form a sub range. Okay, we can obviously start to, uh, you know, look at things such as like the CC within the high to the low. Obviously, we're coming up into that zone now. So then we've got the CC resistance here, CC support here. Um, you know, and, and we, we can start to form a mini range within the within this substructure, within the larger range that we're still trading within. It's like rangeception. You've heard that before. Okay, so my opinion now is I don't want to overtrade this. Yeah, I can I can, for example, be taking shorts off at a high here. That's absolutely fine for a hedge. Okay, and this could have been a take profit one of the PDPOC. You know, that, that's an actual trade that I did take, by the way, but that's out of the scope of today's video. But, um, you know, the, the same here, you can be taking these sort of day trades. But in terms of this long trade, I could say, is it going to come up and hit the overall target here? Well, the answer of that is I have to say, I do not know. I do not know because this is trading. There are no certainties. I do not know with 100% that we're going to hit this target now. This could have been the high. We've now got our retest, for example. And from here, it is down. That could absolutely be the case. And so why... why Am I still keeping this long open? Well, the reason I'm keeping the long open is because we did not lose the support, which I gave to everybody saying that if we lose that, it's weak. We hit that support and we got a bounce. If we lose this support, then I agree. I'm probably going to get stopped out of the trade. But until I see that weakness, I don't need to close this yet. You know, I'm in a risk-free trade now. Hit, take profit, major take profit. Um, stop loss, moved it up. I've still got this target in play. Personally, yeah, I did take a short from this point of control. But... Um, yeah, I'm in a nice position. What can I say right now? I've got the short from the high and the long from the lows. But uh, anyway, um, for this long trade that I want to focus on in today's video, I can say I don't need to know what's happening next. I can look at the levels. If we break our key resistance, of course, I'm going to be looking up to the larger target. Well, value area high, then the larger target. I've got a few different take profits on this trade. If we lose support, yeah, I'm going to get stopped out of the trade. If I get stopped out of the trade, I can continue, can continue, continue to lose the to trade the range. I can still look for another long here. But of course, if this does get stopped out and we start to actually break down from here, hits this low overall low, well, I can look for this low as a swing failure pattern and then obviously down to the lower end POC there. Again, if we break the higher the range, I'm looking up for this end POC. Could we like break this out and, and, and get a proper breakout? Of course, this larger range is going to break at some point in time, but I know my next resistance of the break of this range. I know my next support of the break of the sub range. And I even know my levels within the sub range of the sub range. So you can see how this is really multi-dimensional. Um, you know, I'm, 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 it's not hard, but it is kind of advanced when you start to think about all the moving different components that we're paying attention to here. How every single time frame I'm able to trade on the swing trade and then take day trades and then even sculpt trades within those day trades. You know, I've got a lot of moving parts to this, but at the end of the day, it's not too difficult. It's, well, what can I say? It's, it's learnable. Okay, once you've actually put in some time, study and effort, you can absolutely be on my level. So, um, you know, the theory that I'm using here is not is not overly difficult. Um, so, yeah, that's that's kind of what what I wanted to bring your attention to in today's video.
I wanted to educate you why and how I took that trade, uh, what I was looking for, the levels of the take profits within this, uh, the, why I placed my stop loss where I placed it. For me, it was in these series of lows. I was looking at it to, to continuously basically just not take out those lows. In the end, it worked out. We got a really, really, really strong bounce to the upside. It topped out exactly as kind of predicted of uh, the, the point of control at the exact minute that I woke up for at 4 a.m. to make sure I was taking that. You, I mean, you cannot doubt, you cannot um, say I don't put in a lot of effort. Not many people wake up at 4 a.m. for these type of things. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm addicted to the game. What can I say? I do it. We saw that and then not only done that, but then we obviously got the, the test of the PDCOP, PDPOC. And from that low at uh, 1.30, we, we saw another bounce to the upside where we've obviously come into the local CC. So every single pivot on this chart has been absolutely full-on technical. Could have taken three trades, three wins from this. Um, and I just wanted to bring you this video to show you what's possible. If you want to learn more, I've got a contenders live stream tonight where I'm going to go over the altcoin accumulation patterns. And then actually uh, the altcoin accumulation patterns, I'm going to be going over the theory of like what each thing means, how you mark it out. So you basically can do your own accumulation and, and distribution patterns. You're going to learn all of the theory behind that, which is just going to be like absolutely must watch uh, if you actually want to time lows and highs <laughs> of major swing trades. Uh, that's what I'm going to be doing over the next few weeks. And then Igor is going to be bringing you his ultra special uh, uh, I'll leave that. I'll leave Eeyore to announce that, but he's working on new templates, brand new from the ground up, brand new Exo Atas templates and giving you a whole brand new module. That's exciting. That's coming towards the middle to the end of June. But uh, yeah, well, you're going to learn a lot this month. We really are trying to up our game, go that next extra mile, take on the feedback, improve, and, you know, just remain at the end of the day humble. Yeah, we recognize, I'm, I'm just going to, yeah, just, re just remain humble, level-headed, we're doing well today. Anything can happen tomorrow. So let's just work on ourselves, focus on, our, on ourselves, focus on what we can control and leave, you know, things that we can't control, what other people say about us. Let's just not even give it a second's thought anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm done with it all. And um, I just want to say for the people that are here, I love you. Thank you ever so much. And, um, you know, kind of don't trade off of a, a 1 a.m. post of me literally writing a joke because that, that kind of just like, I have no words for that really and then for you know what I mean this is just like 0.85% oh my god uh, anyway I'm done I'm just going to say thank you ever so much if you want to see the live stream tonight chartchampions.com of course George is doing his daily updates he's already done two live streams today um, yeah everything you, you're going to need to learn about crypto trading even in the stock market, chartchampions.com. I got my live stream tonight. You can watch back all the old ones on the website and I'm going to sign out and just say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me know if you've enjoyed this style of video going through this. Let me know if you want to see more of it in the future. And um, yeah, that's it. I'm just going to say thank you. And of course, no financial advice. We are an educational um, entertainment video only. You know, the standard legal disclaimer there. Make sure you understand no financial advice. And I'll catch you in the next video or of course over in the Discord. So thank you very much. Thank you ever so much, everybody. And um, yeah, cheers. Thank you and goodbye.